Hey everyone, Frozen Blaze here from Super Sips Gaming coming at you with another Super Sips Gaming tutorial. Today I will be giving you a tutorial on, on how to connect your Xbox One controller to a Mac. If you are interested in playing Mac games such as Tomb Raider or um, any of the other games like Minecraft and you have an Xbox One controller, then check out this tutorial to find out how to connect it. Simple and easy. Okay, so first things first, you're going to, this is a tutorial for the Xbox One controller, but I will also show you how you can connect an Xbox 360 controller that is a wired Xbox 360 controller, but I'm going to talk about that later on. So in the description, you'll see a link to skip to that if that's what you're looking for. Now, going back to the Xbox One controller, this is for a wireless Xbox One controller that is going to be connected to your Mac through a micro USB cable. So as of now, there, in, from my knowledge, there is no way to get your Xbox One controller to sync to your Mac through Bluetooth or what have it, but you can connect it to your computer through the micro USB really easily. So if you don't have a micro USB, you could buy one on Tiger Direct or eBay or anything for pretty cheap. So that's, you know, so you're going to need one of those. If you had bought a headset, then it probably came with that. Or if you buy an Xbox One controller by itself, in the box there should be a micro USB cable. If you bought it with your console, unfortunately, there will be no um, micro USB cable. Okay, anyways, so let's get right into it. So you're going to need two programs in order to run, to use the, micro, the Xbox One controller on the Mac. And the two programs are... Gilher Meiraho, I cannot pronounce the name, I am so sorry, but it is an Xbox One controller enabler, and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put a link to this, this in the description below, and you are going to scroll down to where can I get it, and simply click uh, get your compiled copy here. So once you do that, you're going to click the um, Xbox One controller enabler 0 .0 .9 .1 zip and you click that. I already have it, so I'm not going to get it again, but it should be... Uh, it's going to be either this or this. One of the two. No, it's going to be this one right here. Xbox One Controller Enabler. Okay? So once you download that, that'll be into your in your downloads. And then another one you're going to want to download is Joystick Mapper. Now, Joystick Mapper used to be free, when but now it is $4.99. When I got Joystick Mapper, I got it because I connected my Xbox 360 controller to my wired Xbox 360 controller to my to the Mac, simple and easily. So, like I said, if you want to do that, then simply just download this and plug in your um, Xbox 360 controller, and it'll be as simple as that. So that is the tutorial for the Xbox 360 wired controller. Get this app off the Mac Store app, and connect your Xbox 360 controller and there's that. So let's go back to the Xbox One. So you're going to download this. So click view in Mac App Store. I already have it so it's not, see you can see it, it's um right here. So you're going to, oh there's an update to it but I'm not going to update it right now. But you're going to basically install it when, buy it and install it when it comes. And once you have both of these, you're going to open them both up. So let me open them both up, and this one as well, and then you are going to use the micro USB and connect it to your Xbox One controller at the top where it has the little piece for that, and then you're going to connect the USB part to your Mac. So let me do that really quickly. once you do that, you're going to want to click the... You can do this without batteries, by the way, if you were wondering. Um, and if you didn't know, you can also play on the Xbox One without batteries, as long as you plug it in with the micro USB. Okay, so once um, you push the Xbox controller 
the button on the Xbox controller, you know, the Xbox symbol, you're going to click connect and it's going to show you that it is ready to use and it's connected. So right now I'm moving different uh, controls on the pad and you can see that it's moving wherever that is that I did it. So now that you have that connected, you're going to keep that open at all times. So this is like this, there is another person that's selling one program for $15 um, that is supposedly does this as well, but I've never tried it out and there's not a trial version for it. So I, I, I'm a little iffy about it. So I never, I didn't download it. Plus I don't have $15 to waste. This was a simple and free thing for me because I already had joystick mapper. But if you want to go in that route and get the $15 one, I'll be putting a link in the description below for that person's um, app that they are selling. But if you want to just get a $4.99, like $5, if you want to get a $5 fix to this, then simply download the joystick mapper. And if you already have the joystick mapper, then it's also free for you like it was for me. Okay, so this is all, this is configured already. You don't have to do anything over here. So just leave that as it is. And then you're going to go to Joystick Mapper. Now, here's where things get a little bit difficult, okay? But it's not, it's not so difficult that it's impossible. So what you're going to want to do is you have to set them for every game that you play, unless your game, unless the game you're playing has similar has the same controls throughout all of the games that you play. Like for example, um, Tomb Raider is very. The, the controls that I have for Tomb Raider could be really similar to, let's say, um, GTA or s games such as that, where it's always similar. And I'll be showing you the controls that I set up as well. So, if you're interested in playing Minecraft on the Xbox One, with the Xbox One contro controller, then you could simply use the controls that I had set up here. Um, when you want to use it, you just check that to have it so that it's going to use those um, those markers that you had set. So right now I'm going to show you the Minecraft One X Minecraft with the Xbox One controller. You're simply going to go to Edit Presets, and this is all. This is basically the map that this is what it's mapped out so that you can use your Xbox One controller with the Mac. So yeah, I have um, all of the things set up, and if you you could simply just pause the video here and um, set every single one up as it is listed here if you want to use an Xbox One controller with your Minecraft game. If you want to customize this yourself and you don't want to use the controls I have, like let's say you want to, instead of using A to jump, you want to use Y to jump, you're simply going to click Scan and then you're going to click the Y key, the Y button on your Xbox One controller, and it'll change it to three. So right now, Y is being used for the E key, which is the inventory, because I, I think that's the same as what it is on Xbox 360 Minecraft Edition. So that's why I set it up as such. But So that's why for jumping for me is the A. So I'm going to simply click A, and now it goes back to it being A, which is button zero. Now, let's say that you don't want to use it on Minecraft, you want to use it on something else. You're simply going to... Well, let me close this out. You're simply going to add a new preset, let's say. I'll get to the Tomb Raider and Skyrim later, soon. But we're going to add a new preset, let's say... Uh, tutorial... Blah... Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new joystick. So this is joystick number zero and that's our Xbox One controller, as you can see there. And you're going to click Add New Bind. Okay, so I added New Bind. Let's see, let's say I want to use the Y key to, um, to click, let's say I want to use the A key on, a, on the Xbox One controller to click Enter. What you're going to do is you're going to click Keep, you're going to select Keyboard Key, and then from the, this list here, I'm going to go down to Enter. Where is Enter? Am I going crazy? I don't see it. Return. Okay, sorry. So it's Return, um, which is Enter. So now I'm going to, so now I have Keyboard Key Return, and I'm going to click Scan. 
and I'm going to click the A button on my controller. So now A will click will be an enter button. So let's now let's talk about movement. So let's say we want to we want to control something so that the the controller will move my mouse like this and like this like this. So for that you're going to click new add new bind and instead of keyboard key we're going to click mouse motion. So that's what this is. This is a mouse motion. In order to move this this um, mouse around, we need a mouse motion. So the motion that I'm going to be dealing with is up for now. So I'm going to simply have it like that and then click scan and I'm going to use the um, the I don't know what the technical term is, but you know the the joystick part of the the left joystick on the Xbox One and I'm going to push that up. So now it's axis number one negative, meaning it's going up. Okay? And then we can add a new bind and mouse motion down and then I'm going to scan and do the same thing but with it going down. So now it's number one axis plus. Um, and we're going to do the same thing for going the other way around. So now we're going to go right, scan, and I'm just going to simply go right, mouse motion, left, scan, and go left. Okay, so if you're not interested in um, customizing it and you want to just know what the Tomb Raider is one or the Skyrim one is, I'll put a link in the description where it'll simply jump to that part in the video. This is for those of you that want to customize it. Okay, so now we, let me close this out just to show you that now with my controller I'm able to move my cursor around. Okay? So that was a success. And if you want it to be um, opposite, then you simply just change this to a plus you change this to a minus, change this to a minus, and change this to a plus. And then when you move, when you move left, it'll move right, and when you move right, it'll move left. Okay? But I'm not going to do that. I want it to be the way I put it. So we're going to make sure it's back to that. Now let me just test it to make sure that it's back the way I want it. Yep, it is. Okay. So that's for axis. Now, I mean mouse motion. So now let's say you want to use the um, mouse button. So you want right click and left click. So right click is the main click button. And usually for, for the right click, I put it on the, uh, for the, for left click, I put it on the right click. I, uh, sorry, I'm all a jumbled. For the main click, which is the left click, I'll put it on the right trigger. So that's RT. Okay, so scan and then using RT. Let's say I want to use the um, the right click, which is the secondary click button. You're going to select secondary click, and then you're going to scan, and I'll use the left trigger. So now I have it as left trigger. Um, also, if you want, if you are interested in using the middle click, you can do that and select something else to be that as well. But I I don't usually use middle click. Now, what about scrolling up and down? Well, when you want to scroll up and down, you're going to use the mouse wheel. So now it has up, right, down, left. Okay. So let's say you want to shift through weapons or so on and so forth. You can have the mouse wheel do that. So for mouse wheel up, I'm going to use the for mouse uh, for mouse wheel up. I'm going to use scan and I'm going to use the D-pad and use the up button. Okay, so there I click that. So that's when you want to use the mouse wheel. Let's say you want to use um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's for that's for the mouse wheel. And I think that covers all of the ones that you want. If you want to do mouse wheel step, if you want to do um, any of the other mouse buttons, you can. If you have a like a a game that uses multiple mouse buttons, then you can do that as well. It's simple to customize it as you would like. Okay? So, simply, the best thing to do, I wouldn't like, unless you are 
just filling in whatever I had written, the best thing would be to scan every single time you want to change a button. So like for, for enter and I want to use A, I'll click scan, it'll say hold any button, and I'll press the button that I want to use or move the joystick that I want to use. So that's for customizing it. Now let's, let's delete that. And I want to, so let's say you want to play Tomb Raider like I'm playing on my solo, solo Saturday series. You're going to, you can use, you're going to add it, add a new preset, and then you're going to have the Tomb Raider presets, the ones I have listed here. So you could pause it right here. So you have all these, if you want to enter all these presets as they are. And I will also, on the side, I will show you that it is actually set up to be exactly like the ones that Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider uh, game has as their gamepad. So I have it set that everything on the um, the presets over here, they match up with everything that's over here. So anything you see over here, it'll match up with this, so you can use it basic so easily. If you ever forget the um, controls that are set up, you simply just go to gameplay and go to options and um, I think gamepad and it'll come up like that for the Xbox controller. Okay? So that's for the Xbox One, that's for the Tomb Raider with the Xbox One controller and you, if you would like to do Skyrim with the Xbox One controller I also have that set up so that it's actually it's set up to be just like the one that you see here. So block, wait, pause, all of that, it's all set up like that. Maybe a few variations, but you, you'll you figure it out when you do it. And I'll also show you, if you have any questions on anything with like what the keys are, then simply just ask and um, I'll help you out as much as I can. But you can customize them simply if you want to go back and see how you could customize it. I'll, you could go back in the video and, and see it there. So this is the Skyrim presets. There's a little bit more than the ones with Tomb Raider. So for the first set of them, pause it right here so you could see it. And for the rest, pause it right here so you could see it. And that's it. So that's how you'll get the Xbox One controller to work seamlessly with your Mac. So if you want me to show you, I'll, I'll go into Skyrim just to just to show you a little bit about it, to how it works. Oops, I, I closed it, sorry. So we're going to select, we're going to click use this preset. So we're going to be, because we want to use it with Skyrim. And we're going to open up Skyrim. And remember, you have to have both of these open when if you're if you're wanting to use it. And that's the, that's the cheaper way. If you want to use the $15 one, which I don't know if it works or not, then by all means do that. Uh, sorry, Skyrim's taking a little while to up, uh, load. Okay, so let's, let's just do continue. And as you can see, it works perfectly with the Xbox One controller. So it's the controls are just like the Xbox 360 controls for Skyrim and the Xbox One controls for Skyrim. So it's a little bit different than Tomb Raider because Y is to jump instead of A. Um, but to use your weapons, it's the same thing, the triggers. And to go into the menu, it's the pause button. So it's perfect in that sense. And to wait is the same as with... Um, those buttons, journal, it's the same, items, weapons, so on and so forth. So if this, if you like this, um, this tutorial, please make sure you click that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, comment them in the comment section below. And if you are not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe as I will really appreciate it. And we put up new tutorials and gameplays and just random videos every week so we'd really appreciate it and thank you again for watching and see you later
So this is the dual one. I'm not going to show you how to make that. It's basically the same concept. If you know how to make this, you'll know how to make that. And I'll also be putting in a template 